What is up, CSP fam? This video podcast is where we will discuss video and graphic ideas that helps you approach marketing by using storytelling. All this we try to do in five minutes or less, so with some time elapsed already, let's dive right in. So there you were, staring at the white space of the page. The cursor blinking, making you feel like you're about to go mad. Your palms were sweaty and you haven't showered. You got up from your desk thinking you might go for a run and that might jog your mind, but it didn't help. So there you sit with the smell of fear. You still don't know where to begin or how to write your first words. You begin to feel the struggle and the pressure of the time and that this paper was due the following morning. College was a time of exploration, to expand to new ideas and explore new thoughts. But none of that seemed to matter because by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., you had to have your paper finished to pass the class and you have nothing. I think a lot of us can relate to that feeling. The daunting task of beginning to write something that would get a good grade or a good mark from an employer. When it comes to scripts for story-based marketing, it can be no different. But the truth is, no matter what the story, there is something out there that has stood the test of time, and that is the story arc. When you use this simple version of the story arc paired with the three questions in the story-based pyramid, you are set up for success to write a story that inspires. But let's take a look at the sections of the story arc. The first section is the exposition and introduction of character. If you look at my example about the college paper, I was putting into the beginning the feeling, a common emotion that we may have all felt or can relate with. The exposition is describing the setting and setting up the introduction of the character. In the example, you were the character. After the exposition and introduction of character, we see the rising action. In this case, it was the blank page and the cursor blinking. There is tension felt in that moment. For your own story, it might be something a little more interesting. Think of your favorite movie. They all follow a story arc. The third thing I introduced was conflict. There was no words that came to mind, so you, the character, couldn't think. So you went out for a run to try to jog your mind into being able to think of something. The climax is the point of the story where you don't know if good or evil is going to win. Although I really didn't write an example for the story I just gave, it could have been that a friend came in to help you to get you thinking about a topic for your paper. You wrote all through the night, and at 8.55, you finished printing your paper, and you had to run over to the professor. You usually can run in seven minutes, but this time you only had five. Will you make it? That's the climax. Next, we have the falling action. If this story was finished, it could have been you made it in five minutes and the teacher received the paper, looked it over, and gave you a bunch of hmms and haws, but eventually gave you a passing grade. And lastly, you have the resolution. The teacher gave you a grade, which means you can graduate college. Good for you. Does that make you feel good? I know it seems silly, but using this story arc in your marketing efforts can really work to inspire people towards your product, brand, or service. Pairing this with the three questions in the story-based pyramid will make you an excellent storyteller. Try using the pyramid and asking the three questions. Then use the story arc to outline the story. What's your exposition and introduction of characters? What is your rising action? What is the conflict? What is the climax of the story? What is the falling action? And finally, what is the resolution? Remember, as we learned in the previous week, don't make you the hero of the story. Make your customers the hero of the story. You're just the friend that comes in and helps them along the way. They are the real heroes of the story and they will love you for it. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe to our social media and connect with us online. I'm John Oney and we'll see you next time.